Well, we are staying here in Somerset West with my son and Chazelle. And today we will drive a circle route. Uh, not a very far distance, about 200 kilometers. From here we will pass through Stellenbosch. This is a very intensive grape uh, farming area. And raspberry and a lot of other fruits from Stellenbosch. We will then pass through this road again, grape, grape producing wineries and all the way to Franz Hoek. Franz Hoek is a very old town, the town is about 150 years old. And then once we are in Franz Hoek, we will pass through Franz Hoek Pass and uh, through the mountain. And then we will reach this very big lake, the Feigeboom, Feigeboom uh, Dam. And this is one of the fresh water lakes um, that providing the Cape Peninsula with uh, fresh water. The other dam is on top of the mountain here and then there and there and there's, there's a few uh, fresh water dams. Now this dam is uh, about 15 to 20 kilometer long. We will pass in the center of it, crossing the bridge to a little village called Elgin. Now this is fruit producing. And Elgin is a very interesting uh, village, uh, central to the uh, fruit, fruit producing and uh, packaging and export. As you can see, there's a railway line uh, leading directly into Cape Town, to the harbor. And then we will join the N2 highway and back home. So let us go and see what is uh, waiting for us today. It's a rainy day. And um, we're looking forward to the day. And he's gonna rob this coffee shop. Good morning, it's a Sunday morning here in the Cape and it's a rainy day. And my son Percy and his uh, lady uh, Chazelle and me and my wife, we went for a drive. We are now in Franz Hoek. It's a beautiful town here in the mountains. And of course with the rain, it's, it's just, uh, we're just having fun. Now let me show you this beautiful church and this church building is since 1855. Well, we are now um, entering into the Franz Hoek Pass. It's not a very big uh, mountain pass, but it's very beautiful and a beautiful view from, from the top. The waterfall. And we have waterfalls it's in every cliff due to the rain. Wow, nice wind. And we came across that mountain. And we are here at the bottom of the mountain. And it's a windy day here in the Cape. Down there is a big uh, fresh water reservoir or a dam. To all my international friends, this is a man made a dam or a lake fresh water and this dam was empty for a few years 
one of the major water, uh, fresh water suppliers to the Cape Town area. And you've heard about the droughts in the last couple of years. And this dam filled up since last year. And it carries on for seven or eight kilometers. And this is an old train station building which they have converted into a, yeah not a shopping mall but a market and as you can see there's the old the old not the old there's a railway line storage yard for all the fruit in this area beautiful And this is my slogan in life, Cowboys don't cry. My own personal 4x4 sign with the hat. One o'clock on this Sunday afternoon and we are on our way back to Somerset West in, uh, in Cape Town. And this is one of the mountain passes. What is the pass's name, Pus? Oh. Ach, je praat kak, man. very welcome back to our um, paper map today after three days or was it three nights four days visit with uh, our children in Somerset West we will follow a long route as you can see now let me uh, give you some um, explanations on this route this is uh, we're planning 800 kilometers for today Gordon's Bay from Gordon's Bay we follow the route between the mountain and the ocean, all the way. We will stop here somewhere. There's small, lot of small villages along this uh, route. Uh, holiday villages, a um, lot of retired people, and holiday houses. Once we reach Hermanus, we will stop for uh, something to eat. Hermanus, this area, is very very famous for whale watching and it's now time for fa whale watching but unfortunately we have a very long trip uh, today so from Hermanus we will go inland a little bit and then back to the coastline to Hans Bay from Hans Bay Franz Kral follow this route all the way down to Rattle River the dam and then we have to cut back into uh, inland now this area this is one of the so-called bread basket areas of South Africa very intensive farming grain uh, cows sheep very 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 beautiful area we will then follow this is a gravel route gravel route 220 or 250 kilom uh, kilometers to Bredasdorp 20 kilometers asphalt and then back onto the gravel road heading to Malchas. Now Malchas is a pond, a, a man-driven pond pulled by man on cables that is fixed on both sides of the river, er, the river. That is where we're heading. But very important, let me go back to this point, Cape Legalas. As you can remember in my previous um, video, I highlighted and I said that Cape Town is not the most southern point of the African continent. Here is the most southern uh, point of the continent of Africa. And this side you can see the Indian Ocean. And on that side is the Atlantic Ocean. So this is the, uh, 
the joining of the, the two oceans. We've been there a few times. Some people claim that they can see the, the, the split. Uh, I've never been able to see it. But in any case, let's go back. And once we're at Malchas, we will cross the, the river and then it's a 40, 50 kilometer down on to the coastlines. That's Malchas, the pond uh, crossing across the Bria. The Bria means white. And then it's a 40 kilometer down to Witsand, where the Bria River is uh, mounting into the uh, Indian Ocean. Beautiful, beautiful area. So that's our plan for the day. 800, 850 kilometer, 250 kilometer of that is gravel road. Well, let's go. And the town of Gordon's Bay, and then Strand, Strand and then Somerset West. And this is the Atlantic Ocean. on this beautiful morning windy outside and cool and this is where we will have our breakfast this morning and this is called a pub so the bar it's a pub Today we're heading back. We will follow the east coast of South Africa, uh, which is also known as the garden route, but we will follow the coastal route and not the highways. And we have, uh, yeah, two, three days traveling on the east coast. And then we will be mountainous area where we want to camp for uh, another two days and then heading home. Well, I hope you enjoyed the the trip with us. Good afternoon, it's a 25 minutes past one on this beautiful afternoon. We've left uh, Cape Town area at uh, eight o'clock this morning. So we've been traveling for six and a half, was it seven and a half hours? And uh, we left the uh, Atlantic Ocean now. We're cutting short through this farming community and look at this beautiful uh, crops and, and field. Uh, we're passing now the place called Cape Legolas. Cape Legolas is the most southern point of Africa. Cape Town is not the most uh, uh, southern point. Cape Legolas. That is where the Atlantic and the Indian Ocean join. Um, we did plan to um, uh, stop there, but uh, we're running out of time. So um, enjoy the video.
Ik weet niet hoe laat is dat die, dat is uh, half vier. En we staan hier bij Malgas, bij die Breer rivier. En die poort is stekker, die gaat niet meer over die rivier nie. Nou het ons al 140 kilometer draai. Terug naar Witsa. Lekker dag! Het is uh, 4 p.m. en dus een uh, beautiful afternoon. De temperature is uh, 26 degrees. And ideal temperature, but a very strong wind on the outside. As you can see, maybe you can hear it also on the camera. We are still on a gravel road. It's now um, nearly 300 kilometers. Unfortunately, when we uh, arrived at the Bria Rivier, the Bria means in English white. The Bria Rivier, where we had to catch the pond, the floating pond to cross the river to the other side. The pond was out of service, so we had to turn around and we have a long detour now. Well, I'll keep you posted. exactly 6 p.m. and this is a beautiful spot that we discovered this is where we're camping tonight and the caravan is parked here right behind us beautiful view that uh, 